Location Cheyenne. Ruby, whoa, that is a big truck. Wolf, it's an armored carrier to be exact, Miss Rose. Ruby, come on, Mr. Wolf, you can call me Ruby. Miss Rose is my mom. Wolf, haha, ha, okay, kid. He said as he ruffled her hair. Ruby just pouted. Ruby, I'm not a kid. I drink milk. John whispered to Wolf. John, that's her usual counter to people treated her like a child just go with it. You'll be bashing your head against the wall arguing with her. Ruby, I heard that John. They just laughed. Everyone boarded the juggernaut. Suddenly a crow hitched a ride. The juggernaut moves through a ruined city. John, what happened here? Wolf, it seems to be attacked recently. Suddenly gunshots hit the windows. The juggernaut came to a stop. Tyrion standing on a rooftop saying, Tyrion, I'm looking for a soldier, ooh that one in the window. As he points to John. John, he's targeting me, must be one of Cinder's allies. The door of the juggernaut opens. The door of the juggernaut opens. John walks out. Tyrion, oh, I like your style so intimidating. John, who are you? And what do you want? Tyrion, my queen has ordered me to locate a certain soldier to find out more about him. And here we are, you interest me the look in your eyes. You look to have killed so much have you? John no longer wears his clone helmet, he has an earpiece to communicate with his men. John, when I look into yours all I see is chaos. Tyrion, oh ho 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 finally someone who understands. Timar W.Y. and P.N.R. joins John. John just held out his arms to stop the students and walk forward. Tyrion, you want to face me alone? You must be brave or foolish. Hey he he. John, I have faced death many times and I actually died in the attack of Vale. Nothing in this world will faze me anymore. Tyrion, so Cinder was right he did die. He whispered. Tyrion, so with all that out of the way, may I have this dance? John quickly ignites his lightsaber and charged Tyrion. Tyrion's instinct scream to avoid the blade knowing if he gets hit it will be fatal. John adapts the adder stance. John leaped and twirl and spin fighting Tyrion in an equal level. The beacon student's jaw drops seeing John fight with the skill of a huntsman. They wonder how did the blonde noodle manage to do this in nine months. Ruby wanting to help tried to take pot shots on Tyrion. John surprised by the sudden intrusion broke off his offensive. John, Ruby stay out of this. Tyrion, who we have a third wheel. Tyrion noticed the girl has silver eyes and took note to report to his queen. John, he's wild and undisciplined and his moves are so wide and wasteful. He thought, trying to tire out his opponent and try to subdue him decided to take his master's teacher stance. John chose to use Sorisu. Tyrion noticed the change in mood and decided to leave for now and report to his mistress. Tyrion, well that just soured the mood, I'll take my leave. Oh, and if you interrupt me again little red I will cut your eyes out. Young, 
If you do, I'll shove your tail so far up your ass it'll come out of your mouth. Tyrion, I like your spunk blondie locks. I'll see you again, D-boy. Tyrion jumps away on the rooftops. Fera, what does D-boy mean? John, it's dead boy a title given to soldiers doomed to die. John turned to Ruby. John, Ruby why did you do that? Ruby, I just wanted to be helpful. John, Ruby, just be careful next time now you've just made an enemy. The team head back into the juggernaut and return to their destined path. Meanwhile on a boat to Menagerie. Blake, I wish I didn't join the Fong. Porto, no one in the universe could see the future Miss Belladonna. The Fong's purpose at the beginning was noble and I agree with them. But what they are now just destroys what the previous White Fong envisioned for Remnant. Blake, thank you Fordo, you really are John's clone. You have the same caring heart. Fordo, yeah all us clones aspire to be like him, but he told us to be ourselves. I will always remember the philosophy he gave us when we were cadets. Flashback. John, if you have skills you have to offer, skills that you could do well more than anyone else, skills that can help people. I believe it isn't just a good idea to use those skills, it's our responsibility to use the skills. Don't try to be something else, don't try to be less. Be true to who you are. Flashback end. Blake. Wow, I fell in love with a great person for once. Fordo, you know a lot of us was told what happened to him in his past. I want to thank you for helping him in his darkest days. Blake just blushed. Noticing a something Fordo grabbed a hooded figure and pinned him down. Fordo, who the hell are you? Identify yourself. It's me. It's me. Blake. Blake. Son. Son. Yeah your resident stowaway. Fordo, you should not casually announce such details nor should you be proud of it deviant. Son, ouch harsh much. Fordo, could you explain why have you been stalking Miss Belladonna? Blake, what? Son, it's not stalking. I'm just making sure she's safe. Fordo, by not announcing your presence and watching like a creep. Son just lowered his head. Son, if you word it like that. Blake, Fordo please be nice. Fordo, I'm a ARC trooper we are not nice especially on missions. Blake sighs. Then a giant serpent grim suddenly burst out from the water. Fordo, what the hell is that? Blake, the sea fay long. Blake drawn gamble shroud son drew Ruji bang ginger bang and Fordo draws his dual DC 17s pistols. Fordo and son fired away to get the Grimm's attention while Blake used her ribbon to launch herself to the Grimm's head. She used gamble shroud to cut into the Grimm's neck. Receiving such a bad wound made the Fei Long retreat back into the depths. Blake landed on the the only to be barraged by applause. Fordo, nicely done. Son, just punches Fordo's shoulder. Fordo just glares at Son for being rude. Blake just laughed at their antics. Secretly she misses John. They continue sailing to Menagerie.